Greetings, dearest patrons. Today, it happens to be Jumatatu, which is apparently Monday in Swahili, meaning it is time for Joshino's Jumatatu Q&A. So firstly, I would like to thank all of the people who came to my first Dirt Squad, Joshino's Party, which was almost like a Planetside 2 minigame sports day, where there was scythe rope jumping, galaxy platform, survival, Joshino guy says, and more silliness. Most of the games were based on the Nintendo 64's Mario Party, one of my favourite all-time games. Also, a massive congratulations to Amesnith, who came the first with 20 points, and Freeze and Bone Crusher, who came second with 17. Also, to Salty Bacon, who came in dead last, and deserves a special player medal. Unlucky Salty Bacon. The winner was meant to receive 500 station cash from me, but Amesnith said he didn't need it, so I have a prize for another competition or next time's Dirt Squad if, it, if I do something like this. Do any of you have any ideas for another Dirt Squad? That would probably happen in a fortnight. If you do, put it in the comments below and I'll be sure to look at them. Also, I'll be editing the video with the highlights together today and hopefully I'll get it up tomorrow. So on to the questions. Andy Dai says, Hey Joshino, what do you think of the new heat mechanic on the VS Araxian weapons? Can you show some footage of you using one in next week's video? So below is some footage of the Vanu Eclipse Araxian Carbine with the heat mechanic. And I have to say right out of the bat, I think it is a great mechanic and a real breath of fresh air. I've seen a lot of negative feedback about this being a gimmick, but I do like this new mechanic, and I like the fact that it is in the game. And from what I can see, it has made the guns better for it. And not in a generic way, but an interesting one. My feelings on the Eclipse are the gun is really great for taking on one guy, and moving on to another, and lasting for a long time. It is especially good in the closer mid-ranges, and can be used forever in hidey spots. The reload is short, and you can literally dip in and out of fights with the jump jets. I've been getting quite a few long kill streaks with this gun. Its downsides are that, from what I can tell, the magazine is small, and it heats up quite easily, so taking down more than one enemy in close quarters is hard, in succession anyway, like you might do with a GD7F. And this goes doubly so for hip firing. So in some ways I wonder if it still needs a laser sight instead of the forward grip. Either way, I'm still going for the Beetlejuice unlock and will try to get some more footage on the Eclipse to do a full video. I think I love this thing. Crow Gamer HD asks, do you like tea? I am actually quite the tea connoisseur. I like my tea black and bitter. Personally, I like Earl Grey out of the more traditional teas. I also quite like green, peppermint and chamomile most recently. I have actually been drinking some camel tea this week. So another foodie question for some reason. Drunk Muffin HD asks, What kind of muffins do you prefer? Breakfast muffins, chocolate muffins, or even muffins with a spot of tea? I find a jug of British beer does the trick. Who drinks beer with a muffin? <laughs> but my favourite muffin is the white chocolate and raspberry muffin from Costa Coffee. It has bits of raspberry and white chocolate and is almost a cross with a jam donut as it has a raspberry jam centre. Mmm, nom nom nom. I'm also not sure what you mean by a breakfast muffin. I know of the American bread type things, but I don't really eat those. I only have the highly raised cakey sort of things. And I do love a blueberry muffin in the morning. Sharkista says, I know I already asked you, but when can we be expecting some Magicka Wizard Wars gameplay? I am very impatient. Sorry. I will play sometime, but fitting in a full video I'm not sure about. It might just find a spot in a Monday Q&A somewhere. Daniel Williams asks, Do you ever meet up with Planetside 2 players in real life that you met in game? Well, I have a few friends in real life that play Planetside 2 with me occasionally, but I guess that doesn't count. I haven't actually met with any of my outfit mates or anyone really from Planetside 2. I would be happy to, but I'm not sure I could afford to get to most of the places, as they're all dotted around Europe. I have met one of the Planetside 2 player outside of the game at a friend's university, but he didn't know who I was. Um, I think he played on Sarah's. Dry Crystal asks, Do you 420 blaze it all day, every day? Puff, puff, pass. Are you a partaker of the herb? Um, you know, I like a bit of fennel and oregano in my meals, but, you know. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Moose Next Level Game says, Super Serial Now, what new vehicle would you like to see in Planetside 2? And he also says that the dildo chair doesn't count. I honestly don't know how he guessed my first choice. He must be psychic or something. <laughs> 
Anyway, I would definitely like a command carrier like on Battlefield 2142, which I think was called the Titan on that. Basically, a massive hovering craft that is a base in of itself, perhaps spawned by guilds or special events in the game. Someone did a concept of the craft a while back and it looked awesome. It could also be a hub for air clashes and it would be epic to need to gel drop on them to take them down. Gang Gaming 25 Also a question, can I play CSGO competitive with you? I'm Nova 2, about to be Nova 3. You can try and join us, um, just ping me on Steam if you see that we're playing and you want to join in. RD Extremist Boy asks, would you be my Dota 2 coach please? Um, I don't think you would want me to be your Dota 2 coach to be honest. <laughs> Pelican Elite also says, it's cool to see you playing Dota 2 and Planet Side 2. I know I said it before, but not many people do. Maybe we could play together? If you're Templar Pal on Steam, I'm guessing we've already played together. But if not, then just ping me on Steam, like I said to Gang Gaming. So that's it for all the questions. If you have a question for me next week, be sure to ask it in the comments below. And if you're a kind soul, hit the like button to the right. And if you want to see more, click subscribe. So until next time everyone, Joshino.